Hi, I'm Alex Servini and I'm the lead dietitian at Samaritan Hospital. I'm Chef Justin Schmidt. And today we're going to be highlighting our superfood of the month, which is pumpkin. With our recipe today, pumpkin whipped ricotta toast with arugula and apples. Um, and I'm so excited about this recipe because I love everything pumpkin. So let's get to it, Justin. All right, so it's a super fresh, super easy recipe. Start with the ingredients being arugula, peeled sliced apples, orange juice, lemon juice, pumpkin, canned pumpkin, ricotta, extra virgin olive oil, and sliced scallions. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper and ground cumin. Should we start? Mm -hmm. All right, so three components of this recipe. We'll start with the topping. So you have your arugula. You're just gonna mix your arugula in a bowl with your sliced apples. and your orange juice. So the apples I used, Empire apples. If you want a sweeter apple, I know a lot of people prefer Honeycrisp. So some nutrition properties of pumpkin. So pumpkin's a great source of vitamin A, which is essential for our vision and our immune function. Additionally, it's high in potassium, which is great for regulating your blood pressure and also helping with um, nerves and muscles contracting. Um, a great other thing about pumpkin is that it's full of fiber, which helps with digestion and keeping you full longer with weight management. Um, and what's the next step? Next step is the spread. So with the spread being the pumpkin, and get that in a bowl. We're gonna whip it with our ricotta, lemon juice, the cumin and the black pepper. That looks good. So fun fact, um, the pumpkins that we typically carve for Halloween, those aren't the pumpkins we cook with most of, most of the time. This is obviously canned pureed pumpkin, but typically you're gonna use like a pumpkin pie pumpkin or um, a sweet pumpkin. Um, but one thing you can use from the jack-o'-lantern is the seeds. Um, the seeds are really high in zinc, which is also really important for our immune function. It's a good one. So with this recipe, it doesn't call for it, but if you wanted to toast your pumpkin seeds and use that as a garnish, it'd be a good idea. Yeah. All right, next step. Do you need this? All right, so the bread. <laughs> Sourdough bread, so I coated both sides of the sourdough bread with the extra virgin olive oil. I toasted it on a griddle. Obviously, we don't have a griddle here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have a griddle at home. So if you wanted to coat both sides of that sourdough bread or whatever bread you prefer, you could broil it in the oven. You could grill it in a frying pan. You could even bring it outside and grill it on your, on your barbecue grill if you wanted to. Whatever gives you toast. I just would not suggest putting olive oil on bread and putting it in your toaster it will most likely catch on fire. <laughs> Not a good idea. Thanks for so, telling me. So, <laughs> we have our topping, we have our spread. I've already grilled our toast. Everything after this is easy peasy, so we're gonna get some of our spread, and we're gonna coat it right on the bread. I'm so excited for this. Right. We're gonna take our topping with our apples and our arugula, Again, fresh, easy, not hard, not time consuming. Just enough topping on there. Sometimes you mix it, the apples have a tendency to fall below the arugula, so make sure you get in there, add a couple extra apples. It's the best part. Goes well with the pumpkin. Once you've topped it, get your garnish, your scallions, or pumpkin seeds if you have them. Mm -hmm. Garnish with Bang, easy as that. Pumpkin's really great for all different kinds of recipes. It's really great to add to mac and cheese or smoothies or roast it and put it in a salad. It's great for the fall. A Little bit of garnish. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you try this recipe out. Thanks.